Where and how you park in downtown Knoxville is being debated right now. And tonight we were at a hearing with city council members and city officials about new proposals for parking downtown. Six on your side reporter Dominic Webster attended the workshop meeting this evening and brings us more on what this means for those of us who visit the downtown area. Knoxville is growing and the number of people visiting downtown is also increasing. Parking is always a hot topic when it comes to the city and at the city council's workshop it was the only topic. The city laid out its proposal, the city council raising questions on how this could impact those who visit the area. City Council hearing a proposal on how the city plans to change parking in the downtown area. Plenty of questions were asked, but there was one thing mentioned multiple times, free parking. We're always pleased to get input from City Council on initiatives like this, and I think they're, they expressed a lot of excitement about uh, free nights and weekends continuing. Some of the favorite things for residents are nights and free weekends, and so that will be the same, um, except for one change to Market Square Garage on Saturdays. Everything else that people like about coming down here and having access to affordable parking will remain the same. That change to the Market Square Garage City Councilman Tommy Smith mentioned is there will now be a $3 flat fee for Saturday parking. It's the only garage that will have this change. As for the metered street parking, there are possible additional changes. One of the things we're looking at for a change with parking is to increase our on-street rates from $1.50 to $2 for those metered spaces. That price increase is something residents like John Sammons would be okay with paying. I would, I would, it would not bother me a bit to come down there and have to pay, I'm going to throw out two dollars for an hour. That would not bother me. That may bother some people, but it wouldn't bother me. Tommy Smith says with all that was proposed, there's still work that needs to be done and there needs to be a balance between residents and patrons. That residents can still come downtown, find parking, that it's affordable and access the businesses they love. And so that will remain the same. Uh, we still have a lot more work to do to, to make sure we have other changes that are fitting. We have more businesses moving downtown and we have more people who are recreating, biking, and riding uh, in all the ways coming downtown. So that balance is very important, but local residents uh, will be prioritized. With the proposed changes comes new technology as well, like the use of a mobile parking app for the metered spots. With our mobile pay, we a parker that is maybe at dinner, it's running a little long, would have the opportunity to receive a notification on their phone and on their phone go ahead and add time to their metered space. Instead of having to run outside and pay again, they'll have the opportunity to do that straight from their phone. One of the other big things talked about during the meeting, the times for free parking. Along Gay Street, parking is proposed to change to free parking after 8 p.m., with the parking garages remaining free after 6 o'clock, with the exception of the Market Square Garage on Saturdays.